Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a read for the collective. So collective, you know the deal. If it fits, please make it resonate from your higher self and for your higher good. And if it doesn't, sharing is caring, right? Uh, whoever you are on the whole entire planet, shout out to you. We see you and acknowledge you. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us. Whether or not anybody else has told you this today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. And it's a fact and it's unconditional. If you want to contact me, my information's in the box below. It's on you to do so. No one on my end will ever reach out. And if you can find it in your heart to hit the like and subscribe, please and thank you. It's fun. It's free. It's entertainment purposes only. It's good energy you're expending my way that I'll pick up and read and send back to you. Regardless, we're sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, prosperity in every form to infinity and beyond. All right, let's hit this. Clearing ground. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective. Collective, we're working with energy. Energy is fluid, okay? Anybody could be uh, resonating in any one of their signs at any time. And keep in mind, we are in retrograde. Show me the energy. Here we go. Show me the energy. Somebody's walking away from something over here, okay? This is an energy of being emotionally unfulfilled and leaving everything and everyone behind and going forward to find your happiness. Transitional state. Show me. You have a Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, what did I tell you? Emotional unfulfillment. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign or somebody has water in the chart. Or maybe you have it. But either way, a Knight of Cups in reverse is somebody who's very um, vain, insecure, unrealistic. Somebody who perhaps is uh, manipulative, immature. Some of you could be walking away from a person like this. Show me. This person may be overly sensitive. Show me. Show me. Here we go. Okay. A lot of you, this is going to... this. If, depending where you are on this timeline, if you're even resonating with this, okay? Leo energy strength. This took a lot of strength to do, okay? To move away. Look at the foundation, okay? Took everything you had, all right? So you had to really, you know, have a lot of self-confidence. You had to be brave. It took a lot of inner strength and control. And you had to overcome any doubt to move over the calmer waters at the foundation of the situation, all right? Accepting your lessons and moving on. Leaving people, places, and things, burdens, baggage, and bullshit behind you. Emotional unfulfillment behind you and moving forward. What's crowning this person? Whoever this is. What's crowning? Show me the crowning. Please and thank you, Spirit. Okay, well, you're going to get some kind of truth, clarity, or victory in a situation. Okay? Obviously, it could have something to do with this. But Ace of Swords talks about clarity, a breakthrough. This is the facts. Just the facts. So somebody here is going to get a truth. The facts of a situation. A new idea, perhaps. Show me. It's coming in that they don't see. Well, something's ending, so something new could begin. I can tell you this, though. See, walking away and ending something, okay? Scorpio energy. Something's going to come to an end, so something new could begin. You're going to get some kind of clarity on this. Here we go. Ooh, and then you're going to get a wish come true. Something's ending, and you're going to have healing, hope for the future, and a wish come true. Aquarius energy. You have Leo Scorpio and Aquarius as the most predominant. The star. We love the star around here. The star talks about hope and contentment. It's healing. It's spirituality. It's serenity. Somebody here might have like really long blonde hair. Somebody could be canoeing or going out on a rowboat or something like this. Here, yeah, Ten of Wands. The ends of the burdens, baggage, and bullshit. I mean, this is really... This is here... Yeah. Somebody here was overly obligated, maybe overly committed. Some of, somebody here maybe was stressed out on the struggle bus, and this is it. 
they want to drop these, but 10 is the end, so you're at the end. You're going to walk away from whatever this is if you haven't already. It might take all the strength you have in the world, but you're going to be clear on it. It's going to end. Something's going to end, and you're going to have a wish coming true. Wish coming true is going to be done with all this, all these wands. Yeah, show me. Show me. You got the two of swords. Okay, it's coming in on a shelf. So some of you could be in denial, but you're about to see something very clearly. Uh, two of swords upright is perhaps, yeah, making a difficult choice or being stuck in the middle like a denial. This is indecision, confusion, and information overload or truth. So like I said, some of you are about to get some kind of truth. Or you're, you're coming to a place where you're seeing something clearly and you're not in denial about it anymore. Here we go. Then you're going to take the lead and move forward. Good for you, whoever you are. Okay, three of wands. Three of wands talks about foresight, confidence, growth, momentum, leadership, and moving ahead. Show me what's coming in. What's coming in? Show me. Coming in the near future. Here we go. Ooh, an ace of cups, a new emotional awakening. So you see, you're walking away from these eight cups, but here's a cup right here. Some love is coming in. Some kind of intimacy, some kind of emotional awakening, love, intuition, spirituality, sex. <laughs> nice. Seeing a lotus blossom. Somebody might have a red hoodie here. They like to, oh, it's going to be a surprise and a shock when this shit comes in. Look at this. You got the tower. Something you don't see coming with this ace of cups. This is going to take you off guard, okay? It's a knight of wands coming. Look at this. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody coming in like a hero. Somebody that's going to come in very um, gallantly. Somebody who's very confident. Somebody who's hot with a wand. What did I tell you? Good sex. You're going to be shocked and surprised when this happens. You don't see this coming. Whoever you are out there, if you're resonating with this. If you're walking away from here, look at this. This is somebody that's going to want some kind of equal give and take. Okay? Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles talks about some kind of uh, generosity or support. Maybe you're going to, you know, be supportive of each other. This could be, yeah, this is somebody who's going to be maybe very um, giving. I'm getting giving. You do have a Knight of Swords. So, you know, this is your advice from Spirit. Go after what you want bravely. Be straightforward. Articulate yourself. The Knight of Swords does that, right? The Knight of Swords is somebody who's very um, focused and daring and ambitious. So go after what you want. Show me the most likely outcome for this. This is a great reading. If you're in the middle of walking away from something or you're about to, have no fear. Love is here. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm naming the video that. Have no fear. Love is here. You got a five of cups in reverse. So what are we talking about? Finding peace. It's self-forgiveness. Forgiving yourself for all the things you didn't know until you knew them. Forgive everybody else. What the frig is the difference? Life is short, right? It's contentment, happiness, acceptance, and moving on. Uh, you know, yeah, we like it. I'm doing, I'm moving on. I don't know where I'm going. I'm on my way. So whoever that is. Looks like you're moving into some kind of happiness and some kind of wish fulfillment that's going to shock the shit out of somebody here, okay? Something's coming to an end. This is, yeah. Show me. What else? So somebody's finding contentment and peace here with the past. With the past that they had to walk away from. Show me. All right. We got it. It's, okay. Balance yourself out. Be resourceful, flexible. Keep yourself on solid ground. Two of pentacles. Okay. Stretch your resources. Be adaptable. And it's the end of the burdens, baggage, and both ten of swords. Hmm. You have an ace of wands. What I tell you? Some kind of new passion. It's the end of all this. It's the end. It's a painful ending. It's over. Balance yourself out from this painful ending. You have new love coming in. It's going to be very passionate. This is a new passion. This is a match lit under somebody's ass. It's enthusiasm and confidence. It's energy. All right. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or another fire sign, perhaps a Leo. Look at this. Two of Cups. Spirit's stopping me right there, okay? This is a new relationship coming in where you're both going to feel the same way about each other. And it's going to be very passionate. Might even lead to marriage. It's going to be very traditional. Somebody wants to do something in a very traditional manner. Uh, some of you might be going to school and learning something. Somebody wants to take control. Queen of Wands. Somebody might want to take control of a Queen of Wands. 
or the Queen of Wands was going to take control of the situation here. Somebody could have Leo in their chart highly, all right? This is it. This is a good reading, guys. So let me see. I gave you Leo. I gave you, uh, what else do we have? Scorpio. And we have um, Aquarius. We like it. Let's get you some of these today in a few letters, and we'll see you. We love you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. Somebody here could be named Janine. Then we could be dealing with a narcissist. Well, who isn't? They're all over the place. Watch yourself. Yeah, somebody's in office gossip. Remember something. If somebody's gossiping to you about somebody, they're gossiping about you to somebody. So stay away from gossipy people. They're a vexation to the soul. Somebody could be named David here. You got Justin. Somebody's a liar. That's the narcissist. That's a liar. Hey, okay, whoever that is for you. Somebody likes to eat blue cheese or they smell like blue cheese or something about blue cheese. Everyone is not your friend because some people are liars and office gossips. You see this? So be careful. Here, Jonathan. Somebody's got a Taco Bell. Eo me taco. Oh, God, do I love Taco Bell. Can't have it, though. Here we go. And fear... Face everything and rise. Don't run. Rise, okay? Once you face your fears and you get over them to the other side, you look back and you think they're ridiculous. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. Binge watching Netflix while eating Taco Bell with extra blue cheese. All right, guys. Here we go. Danielle or Daniel. Last but not least, you get you a couple of letters. All right, guys. Here we go. You have S. Two S's. You have an R and a D. You have an X. You have L. I'm hearing lard ass. <laughs> this is what I'm. I'm hearing lard. Somebody's a lard ass out there. Meaning that they're late. Look at this. What am I telling you? Lard ass, right? Could be your X that was a lard ass. Um, two T's, two S's. Let's see. U O A. <laughs> lard ass. That's funny. Oh <laughs> Two X's. I don't know, guys. It is what it is. My spirit guides are next level. <laughs> All right, here you go. You have a Q, a C, an H, an L, an R, and a D. You have two X's, two T's, and two S's. A U, an O, E, and A. All right, guys, thank you so much. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light.